The end of the best open LLM was published on Monday, April 15th, 2024. Modeling the compute versus performance trade-off of many open LLMs. Since starting this blog with boots on the ground building the open LLM ecosystem, I've, I've declared there a best open LLM three times, Llama 2, Mixtral, and DBRX for each of these releases. Following the starting gun that went off with a Llama in early 2023, the most practical LLM for almost any use case was going to come downstream of these models. Each of these was a substantial jump forward in the performance per parameter trade-off of open LLMs. Open models simply had so much to gain by scaling up. It's extremely easy to see that a 70 billion parameter model captures so much more nuance than a 7 billion parameter model. Trained similarly, I've highlighted the three best models on a chart from Maxime Levon on Twitter, modified via the addition of Grok1 from XAI. See figure one. The shift from Llama 2 to Mixtral was mostly about performance compression, moving from 70 to 13 billion active parameters with similar scores. The step to the DBRX model was about taking proportional steps up in performance and size without taking into account training token counts. More on that later. Soon after the DBRX release, the landscape of openly available LMs has changed notably with two models, Coheria's Command R Plus and Mixtral's new 8x22B base model. Command R Plus is the first openly available model that has beaten any GPT-4 version on LMSYS's chatbot arena. Can a model with a strict non-commercial license take the label of best open model? Mistral 8 by 22 b is a new stronger base model released on April 10th with little information. Do models like Mistral 8 by 22 b or DBRX with 36 or 39 billion parameters respectively actually support the ecosystem so that it's best for everyone? For example, some of my former colleagues at Hugging Face quickly responded with a fine tuning of the new Mistral model, training it with a largely unproven alignment method, odds ratio preference optimization on 32 H100 GPUs for one to two hours. When you assume that any decent model needs some trial and error margins on compute costs, there are very few players in the alignment space with this type of compute to throw around. This new model didn't entirely pass my vibes test on Hugging Chat, but try it for yourself. See figure two. The last few weeks of releases have marked a meaningful shift in the community of people using open models. We've known for a while that no one model will serve everyone equally, but it has realistically not been the case. On the retort, I described it as open ML entering the trough of disillusionment. This article and its main declaration that there isn't much of a point trying to argue for a singular best open LLM is actually late. The release of XAI's Grok1 weights actually marked this most clearly. Yi 34B and Quen 1.572B really could have marked this transition point too. Quen 1.572B chat is practically tied with GPT-4 on the LMSYS leaderboard, coming in slightly below and was released about five months ago. As far as I can tell, the Yi and Quen models largely are underadopted due to the bias of the narrative and aligning open models, my own included. These models could have been labeled as the state-of-the-art LLM, but that's not really the point. Compute-efficient open LLMs, to me, the best model going forward is going to be based on the weighted performance per parameter and training token count. If we start by plotting the total parameter count versus the MMLU score, it's obvious that it isn't that insightful. Models are clumped at popular parameter counts, but it makes progress look too rosy and simple. See figure three. Most of the gains made in the last year and a half of open models are purely from throwing more compute at the problem. I made a little model showcasing how open models compare on compute versus MMLU trade-off. Note, I assume the token count of Mistral's models to be 10 T tokens, which is based entirely on rumor and much higher than most of the models. Raw data is available here, and please let me know if you have more training token counts I couldn't find. See figure four. Let's start with the two Llama series to showcase the compute versus MMLU trend. Reminder, MMLU, Massive Multitask Language Understanding, is the current benchmark that folks track most closely for base models. Compared to the first image, the concentration of the trend is remarkable. More compute simply equals more performance. The question is, what is your compute budget for each model? How do you optimize that as a fixed resource? See figure five. Normalized by compute, it shows that most of the gains from the Llama 2 line of work come from scaling compute. There are more gains as MMLU is just one measurement, but it's important to illustrate how simple compute can be in terms of performance, even for open models. Now, let's extend this figure with more of the open base LLMs from 2023. See figure six. Most of these are in line with Yi 34B and Mixtral being the ones that look the most interesting. Here's an annotated version showing where Mixtral could be with different assumed token training counts. See figure seven. 
if we assume that Mixtral 8 by 7b was trained on the same number of tokens as Llama 2, 2 trillion, it would look like a total outlier, which is unlikely. Now, let's add the models for 2024, which shows that models are not only getting bigger, but they're getting better. The models are improving in MMLU with constant compute budgets. See figure 8. For models at the size of DBRX or Mixtral 8 by 22 billion, it's pretty infeasible for most of the open community to do much with them. This size class will continue to be functional, but the models that are 10 times bigger fill a different niche in the open community. The most important models will represent improvements in capability density rather than shifting the frontier. The core difference between open and closed large language models on these charts is how undertrained open large language models often are. The only open model confirmed to be trained on a lot of tokens is DBRX. Many models being in the 2 to 3 trillion token range represents a huge change from the industry model providers, where their base models are probably trained on all of their effective tokens. In some ways, it's easier to make the model better by training longer compared to anything else, if you have the data. Finally, here's a zoomed in version with the models most folks care about. As more open base models come out, I'll continue to use this model to showcase the efficiency of the model. See figure 9. I'm excited to add Llama 2.5 or 3's performance to these plots in the near future. In the past, the Llama models were released into an open plane with almost no competitors. The large delay we have seen is likely due to the change in culture from being the only player, where shipping fast is the easiest way to win, to being one of many players. I also expect Meta to be trying to fine-tune a model that scores well on LMSYS's leaderboard given the cultural weight of that evaluation and the relative failure of Llama 2 Chat's release. Thanks for listening and have a great day.